Hi, we are still looking at number bases. In the previous video, we were able to look at how to do our counting. So, some countings we are done in 10, some countings we are done in 5, and we are able to do the expansion to see actually the, the pass or the countings done in 10 and 5. So now, I want to look at more appropriate example. Now, here we are to expand the following numbers in powers of the bases. So here we have base 8, here we have base 2. So we start with the A part of this question. So here we have the number 732540, but this one is in base 8. So remember, you can, you can either write it in figure or you write it in words. So you want to do the expansion. So now, the expansion is, to do this now, the issue is to look at the place values. We want to the place values that will guide us on the powers that we assign to that base. So to do that, first of all, let's go by doing the expansion. So here, you remember that here we have 7. Remember we are dealing with base 8, so here comes times 8. So we have 7 times 8. So we are supposed to assign power to this 8. But let's first of all continue, then we see a way, a systematic way of assigning those powers. So the next one, we are looking at the number 3. So we have 3 times 8. So we look at the next digit. The next digit is 2. So we have 2 times 8. Then we'll look at the next digit. The next digit is 5. So we have 5 times 8. Okay. So we we'll look at the next digit. The next digit is 4. We have 4. 4 times 8. And finally, the last digit is 0. So we have 0 times 8. So we want to see actually this 8 we supposed to assign powers to them. That is right, it is multiples of 8 or powers of 8. So how do we do this now? So let's start from the last 8. So the last 8 is here. So you assign, the power to assign here is 0. So the last 8 will give you the power 0. So we start counting from 0. Then the next 8 will give you the power 1. Then the next 8 will give you the power 2. The next 8, you give it the power 3. The next 8, you give it the power 4. The next 8, you give it the power 5. So this is actually the way it is done. And from what you have done here, you have done the expansion in this 8. And that's what we have. Okay. So let's look at the B part of the question. Remember, we have handled the A part of the question. So the B now... This number, we have it in base 2, so it is given in base 2. So this is what we have. So write the number. So you have 1, you have 0, you have 1, 1, 1. So this one is given in base 2. So this is how to assign the powers, that the place values now, to see the powers. So it's the same thing like what we did here. So instead of doing the expansion first. You can just start by assigning the powers immediately. So one can decide to write here. So you start from zero. So here is zero, here is one, here is two, here is three, and here is uh, four, which is the same thing from what we have done above. So here now, you can simply do your expansion. So remember, here is base two. So we are working in base two. So when you do the expansion, so you now have one, times so you times two because you are working in base two so what power should be assigned to this two so the power that should be assigned to this two we start from here so the first two here so here we have assigned the power four so here should be the power four so we have the power four here so the next digit is zero so here we have zero times two so now to look at the power that should be assigned to that 2, we are looking at this 3 that is under 0. So here should have the power 3. Okay. So we continue. So the next one. So the next digit is 1. So this digit is 1. 
so we have 1 times 2. So it is now 1 times 2. Then we look at the power that should be assigned to that 2. It is actually this 2. So here should be power 2. So yeah, as you can see, we are counting down till we get to 0. So the next one, so the next digit is this one. This is 1. So we are going to have 1 times 2. So we have 1 times 2. And the power that should be assigned to it is this 1. So this should have the power 1. So as you can see, we are going down to get back to 0. So the next one is, the next digit is 1 again. So we have here 1. So this becomes 1 times 2. So the power that should be assigned to it is this 0, which is the final one. So this should have the power 0. So it's just like what we did in the example above. There are two ways I have done it. So here, you can do multiplying by the bases, and after that, you start assigning the powers. From the last one, you start from zero and go back. Or, you just look at the number, and you start assigning the powers. Just look at the numbers. So the, the first digit, by the right, you start giving it zero. So you have zero, one, two, and so on. Then when you expand, you start from the highest one. Just like here. We have here to be 4, 3, 2, 1, and we get back to 0. So, we have done the expansion as required. So, the first one is expansion in base 8, and the other one is expansion in base 2.